What is going on, Panthers Nation? Carolina Dad here, your host of the Two Growls, One Roar podcast. Hey, folks, you heard me say, I'm done with mock drafts. I got two more coming. I didn't say I was done with other people's mock drafts, though, right? So I think it is good to look at outside perspective across various networks. I'm not going to get into all of them today, but we're going to take a look at a few mock drafts, see what people are stacking up for the Panthers. Like, what do they have lined up? Is it what you think should happen? Do you agree with the picks? Do you agree with the trades? And we are going to dive right in right now. Let's get to it. All right, folks, we are going to start with NFL.com Chad Reuters draft. It is a five round mock draft. So we won't get through the full thing, but I think five rounds is more than more than enough. And we're going to start it off. We're going to skip the first round again. Panthers don't have a pick in the first round. And in this simulation, they did not get a pick either. So here we go, folks. Would you look at that? Right out of the gates, we have a projected trade with the Las Vegas Raiders, who looks like in this situation, Michael Penix Jr. fell, fell into the hands or, or the hands of the, the Raiders in the second round. But to do that, they had to make a trade with Carolina. You'll see where we moved back in just a minute. I've talked about this scenario. If a quarterback is available that somebody wants and a team didn't go to quarterback in their first pass, which well, I guess if I went back, we would know that the Raiders did not get a quarterback. That's there's a good possibility this could happen. We've seen it with Will Levis, like I've said. And it, it all depends on like the Panthers' philosophy. Do they think getting two or three second, third round picks is better than the two that they have? I think so, but it really depends on the impact and player that you want and what need we want to try to fill. So let's go ahead. We're going to skip through these other picks. First pick, we do retain pick 39. Drafted, drafting Braden Fisk, defensive tackle out of Florida State. Not a fan of getting a defensive tackle in this situation, but if it is the best player available, and if you go back and look, you'll see a lot. Elad McConkey's off the board. I was looking at a few others, at least notable names. So uh, I don't know that that's my pick in this situation, especially you see Kool-Aid McKinstry still there, cornerback out of Alabama. I like him. Cam Hart, another cornerback available. But, hey, it's what they mocked. That's why we do this. Again, this was from the trade. So pick 44 is what we got in return from Las Vegas. And we ended up taking tight end Ben Sinat out of Kansas State. I like this move. Ben Sinat, really good prospect at the tight end position. Going down because I don't think there was anything else for us in this round. No, it's not. So let's move on to round 30. Round three, where we kick it off. And what do we have in round three? Carolina Panthers taking TJ Tampa, cornerback out of Iowa State. Not a bad move at all. Cornerback is a position of need. I know some people are probably freaking out right now if you're looking at this mock because we have not selected a wide receiver yet. Pretty shocking here that they have Troy Franklin, wide receiver, Still available at pick 67 at the beginning of the third round. A lot of people, including me, feel like he's going to be gone in the second round. Ricky Purcell as well. Another name as we talk about wide receivers that are available. I don't think there's anything else in the third round. I'll keep going down just to make sure. Let's see. No, it's not. So we'll move on to round four. Round four, Carolina Panthers select Jermaine Burton, wide receiver out of Alabama, has ties to Bryce Young and playing there together. So it makes sense, right? Makes sense for the Carolina Panthers. I know some fans are probably like sweating now, wondering why we did not get a wide receiver earlier in the draft process. Oh, my gosh. So anyways, that's what we got there. We'll keep scrolling down. And we move down to pick 112, where the Panthers get another NC State lineman. Dylan McMahon McMahon, out of NC State. I don't see this happening. Sorry, folks. I'm all about NC State, what they've done, and they've had a lot of success. But looking at Icky Zavala, I can't see us going three years in a row picking an offensive lineman out of NC State just based off of Pure history, like we would become the, the the factory for producing linemen out of state, which is not a bad thing. They're not saying he's a bad player either, but hard to imagine. Let's keep going down here. 
I think that likely is – yeah, because now we're moving into compensatory picks. So we'll move into round five, and guess what? Panthers don't really have many more picks. So this, this five-round mock actually isn't a bad thing at all. Denver Broncos getting pick 136 via Carolina through Cleveland. What a freaking uh, trade there. Panthers do have pick 141 and 142 right now. We see them getting edge Jalen Harrell out of Michigan and Jalen Ford, a linebacker out of Texas. Not, not bad picks at all. You shore up the defense. Again, I don't know how much of an impact you're going to get from these later round guys in these situations, but let's see. Also have pick 148, which was a part of the trade with the Raiders. When we move back and we get Jalen Simpson safety out of Auburn. I believe what else we got here? I think that should wrap. Looking through. Yeah. All right, folks, that is your first mock. I'm going to hop over now and we'll take a look at another. Actually, yeah, we're going to take a look at another mock draft. All right, y'all, next on the list, we have Walter Football. This is not as easy to navigate as the NFL.com, but we'll use it. Let's go ahead and jump in. Pick 33, they have the Panthers selecting wide receiver Xavier Worthy out of Texas. Panthers don't need any speed receiver. Don't have any speed at receiver. I can read that. They need some players at the position who can separate. That's right. Xavier Worthy is a shifty receiver with good link. I wouldn't be mad with this pick. He's not like my number one choice just based off of size, but I wouldn't be mad if that was the pick. We'll go down to pick 39. Again, sorry, folks, this one is a little rough. Pick 39, Carolina Panthers select Chai Smith Wade, Chai Chow, cornerback out of Washington State. Again, I think some folks may be surprised if we end up taking all defense or cornerback. Cornerback and edge would be all defense, but a cornerback with this pick. All right, let's go back up because those are the – and sorry, folks, this this website is just not it's not great. So we'll try to hop in now to round three where we kick it off with pick 65. Panthers select running back Jonathan Brooks out of Texas. I like this pick. And please just get off of there. I do have my ads disabled right now. Sorry, folks. That's just the way it is. I'm tired of looking at 50 ads. I'm going to try to do these things. Jonathan Brooks running back out of Texas. Yeah, I like the idea of the Panthers drafting a running back. I've talked all about running backs. The various segments, I'm not going to do that on this session today, but I do like that pick. Hopping over now to round four. Panthers have quite a few picks. Okay, this is where this makes no sense at all. And now this is absolutely garbage. I'm sorry, man. I got to cut this mock because now you have us drafting a running back, 65 and 101. Oh, yeah. I've been going Walter football. This is why I am going to continue to block ads on your site. Sorry, folks. That's just the nature. Let's go find another mock draft. All right, folks, we're going to look at the 33rd team, and we're only looking at the first round because, well, there's going to be plenty to talk about here. In the first round, they have the Panthers trading up with division rival, the division rival, New Orleans Saints, to draft two. Well, first, let's talk about what we're giving up. We're moving up to pick 14 in this simulation giving New Orleans pick number 33 and 39 in exchange for Brock Bowers, tight end out of Georgia. No, 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 no. It's not worth it. Tight end, playmaking tight end, sure, would be fantastic, but we need bodies. We need guys in that early second round that are going to have impact. One guy's great. Three or four guys, even better. In our case, two. I hate this trade. This is the most clicky clickiest of clickbait trades that I've seen out there. I talked about that on the next. Not a fan of it, in case you couldn't tell. So I do not anticipate this happening, and especially us trading those picks to a division rival to move up. Just doesn't make a lot of sense, folks. Not at all. 
All right, folks, let's go to Panthers.com. It is very hard. Unfortunately, a lot of these mocks, you really just see the first round because that's who most people care about. Finding a full five, six, seven round mock draft is very difficult, but we're going to go to Panthers.com, look at their mock draft report, which will be a consolidation. It's probably not going to be all the picks, but let's see who they have on the board. You already saw what I had there. And uh, so NFL.com, we talked about Brandon Fisk being the pick at pick 39. This is, again, with that trade that I talked about. ESPN has a selecting with pick 33 and 39. Ricky Persall, wide receiver out of Florida, cornerback TJ Tampa out of Iowa State. Moving down to the draft network, we have Xavier or Xavier, Xavier Leggett, wide receiver out of South Carolina, and Edge Chop Robinson with pick 39. Man, if those are available. I love it. I love it. I love it. Pro Football Network, wide receiver Lad McConkey out of Georgia, offensive lineman center, that is Zach Frazier out of West Virginia. Hey, all the names that we've talked about. From, from the athletic, Wide receiver Xavier Worthy, Edge Darius Robinson out of Missouri, and Walter Football, a version of theirs, I guess, Xavier Leggett and cornerback Kamari Vasitter. Say that right. We're seeing a variety, folks. Wide receiver seems to be the trend with the first pick. Looking at defensive line, looking at cornerback, looking at edge, possibly center. I think those are the two position groups that the Carolina Panthers will pick. You know what, folks? I, uh, I, I'm i here, and I'm recording this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go out here to Draft Buzz, and we're going to get you a mock draft. Why not? Said I was done with mocks. But you know what, folks? It's mock draft season, and I just basically saw pure garbage out there. I just witnessed pure and utter garbage. So here we are. Mock draft. Cue up the mock. Let's do it. We're going to do seven-round mock draft. Should we shorten it? Five-round mock draft is enough for me. We're going to do a five-round because that really should cover the Panthers. Talked about speed. Keep it random. Let's pick the Panthers. Let's enter the draft. Start the draft. And get this show on the road. Hey, man, I, you know what? I give mock drafts a hard name. Here I am <laughs> doing another mock. Why not? Why not take this on? I am doing a mock draft challenge that we'll post and talk about here in a few days. Given this second, uh, slowly getting there. I really like, I, I don't know why Chop Robinson is falling. Roy. Giving up. I wonder all the offers on here. Houston just coming back, giving us a lot of picks. Very unrealistic. Let's reject. And a lot of interesting prospects. One, Chop Robinson, Edge, Graham Barton, who can play center, Troy Franklin, Lad McConkey, Tavian Saunders. Lots of big names on the board right now. I would love to have a playmaking edge knowing that Clowney's probably going to be, you know, he's here for two years, but it's hard for me to go ahead with that pick right now, but I haven't really had a chance to draft Chop Robinson in any of my simulations. So I'm going to take Chop Robinson best available. We're going to, Oh my gosh, you're going to give us Joey Bosa. Of course I'm going to accept that trade in, in round five. And a first round pick next year just for pick 39. Yes, I will absolutely take that. You know, Lad McConkey, I've drafted, talked about him a few times. I've watched some of his highlights recently. And I know I've, I lean towards Leggett is my pick. I think you even have Saunders, the tight end here in this situation. You know what? We are going to take, as I just talked through myself, I know some folks would be like, why? Talking about the impact of drafting an impact tight end tight end that can come out of the gates and help this team so i'm going to take a tight end although you know wide receiver could be a 
an option. I think I'm going to be able to get someone with pick 65 that's a wide receiver that can help us out of the gate. You can see Xavier Worthy still on the board. He fell off. Peyton Wilson, Malachi Corley, please hang on. Oh, Malachi Corley is there, wide receiver. We are going to draft right now. Man, Edge, look at this. Tight end, wide receiver. We've got quite a ways to wait. Pick 101, pick 142, and pick 166 to close out this five-round mock draft. Again, not, not using our seventh-round pick. Sorry, the, the loading time in between these picks. Brendan Rice still on the board. Jalen McMillan, Cam Hart, cornerback, is out here. And I like that. If, and using my Jim Carrey voice, I like it, I like a lot. Fun times, man. If this thing was live streaming right now, poof, be tearing this thing up. Edge, tight end, wide receiver, cornerback. Two picks to go, folks. Pick 142 and 166. We can look at a linebacker, which I see Cedric Gray still hanging around. Is he going to be there? Ah, no. He's off the board. Darn. Running back. Also a possibility. Best available player on the board right now. Eh. There's not, you know, my thrash I like, but I don't really want to get another receiver. There's not, there, there's really not a, a lot that like jumping off that, hey, yeah, we should get this guy over this guy. Let's look at the running back room. Ugh. Again, yeah, I don't know that I'm like jumping up and down for a lot of these folks. Running back. Where else can we look? Uh, let's see who's on the offensive line that is available. Delmar Glaze, center. I know that'd be kind of a reach, at least right now. Let's go back. Oh, I could double up a, a wide receiver, but I, I just don't think that's the move. Let's see who's available as the, uh, the linebacker. Cooper, I've looked at. Jalen Ford. Might be a little bit of a reach right now, but you know what? Let's go ahead and draft. A little bit of a reach right there. If you go back and look at his draft profile. 101 tackles, though. Guy, guy can make some plays. Try to get this to load here. I mean, on some boards, 33rd, PFN, ESPN, eh, you know, where we got him is kind of in that range. I know some will much, much higher. Looking at best available player now, and this just being the five round mock. New Hampshire running back, Dylan. You have Luke McCaffrey sitting here. What does his yardage look like? Wow, quite a few receptions, rushing. All right, Dylan, you're going to be our new McCaffrey. Welcome to Carolina. Hey, folks, that is all. That is your five-round. Let me screenshot this for myself for future five-round mock draft. you got to let me know what you think about this. All right, folks, that's all I got for today. This is Carolina Dad. Y'all have a good one.